guys, my name is Dom and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the average cost of owning a Nissan 350Z. I've owned this 2004 Nissan 350Z for the past three and a half years. So I know firsthand what it's like to own this car and how much it costs every week for different things such as gas and parts and insurance, anything else like that. And that's exactly what we're gonna be covering today. Number one, we're gonna talk about how much I paid for this and how much the KVB value is. Number two, we're gonna talk about how much it costs to fill this thing up with gas, what kind of gas it needs, different gas mileages. And of course, this will be specific to your area, but I'm gonna average it based off of what I see here in Nebraska. And we'll talk a little bit about oil changes, insurance, and general maintenance that you need to do to the car throughout the year. So getting into number one, the overall cost of my car. This is a 2004 Nissan 350Z. It had 83,000 miles when I first bought it. I paid $6,000 in cash for this. There are some things that were wrong with the car when I first bought it. I did need to get new tires. I also needed to change the brakes and fix some dents and scratches that were around the car. But overall for $6,000, I thought it was a steal. I looked it up and today this car is worth anywhere between nine and $11,000 based off the KBB value. I would assume that this car could probably sell for maybe 10,000. Right now it's sitting at 94,000 miles altogether and that brought it right to about $10,000 as the average listing price. Of course, Zs are sold at different prices because they've been used in different situations, just like with every other car that's out there. You've seen it a lot with 240s, they've jumped in price. You've seen it a lot with Miatas, they're insanely expensive right now. Zs are gonna be that next car. Look out for the cars that have been drifted, have been abused, and try to look for a close to stock, if not completely stock Z. Moving on to gas, this car takes premium gas, so either it's 91 octane or 93 octane. I just got gas for this car yesterday, and it was about $3.80 per gallon for 91 octane. This car gets 20 miles per gallon for driving in the city and 26 miles per gallon for driving on the highway. The average cost to fill the tank is about 40 bucks and it usually lasts me about a week with average city driving. That means on average, you're gonna be spending about 160 bucks per month on gas. Over a year, that's $1,920 that you're gonna be spending on gas just to drive this car daily. Moving on to the next thing, it's gonna be oil changes. This car requires full synthetic oil. I use 5W30 and it costs about 30 to 40 dollars to fill it up three times a year or whenever I hit 3,000 miles, whichever comes first. Total, you're looking at $90 for the whole year to keep this up to date on its oil. Next, I wanna talk a little bit about insurance. Obviously, your insurance is gonna be a little bit different based off of what situation you're in and what kind of plans you can get. Right now, I just have liability only since most of the time it's sitting in the garage and whenever I drive it, I'm usually out driving for 20 minutes, if that, since I have the Jeep. I have full coverage on the Jeep, but liability only. Especially if you're in high school and you don't make a lot of money, insurance is one thing that you can save a little bit of money with by just getting with liability only. For this car, on the plan that I have, I only pay 35 bucks a month for insurance. Full coverage is somewhere around $100 a month and I go through State Farm. At 30 bucks a month, that's $420 over the course of the year. The last thing I wanna talk about is just general maintenance for this car. This can include different things such as your brakes going out, you need new tires, maybe a windshield cracks, you need to get it replaced, anything like that. On average, I would say the typical price for general maintenance is anywhere between $200 to $400. Of course, everything could be way more expensive than $400, but if you're doing work yourself, I've usually only spent about 200 bucks or around that area for general maintenance. One thing that has increased over the last couple of years is the price to replace your brakes. I just looked online on AutoZone and Advanced Auto Parts, and it looks like it's about $350 to $400 to replace the brakes on the Z. But that's another thing to keep in mind when you're buying this car, or if you're buying any other car, is the general maintenance that you're gonna have to do to it over the course of the year. So, what does it cost to own this car over a whole year? Taking into consideration the initial cost of, for me, $6,000, and for the KBB value, $10,000, thousand dollars. For me, over the whole first year, I spent about $8,630, including the initial cost, average yearly amount that I paid in gas, how much I paid for insurance over the course of a year, and oil changes, along with general maintenance. That's just for your first year. Keep in mind that if you're paying for this car upfront in cash, you're not gonna have to worry about any interest rates or payments or down payments or anything like that. On the second year, when you don't have to worry about the initial cost of the car, you're looking at about $2,630 for general maintenance, oil change, gas, insurance, everything like that. That's an average of $219 a month to own this car and daily drive it. Honestly, 200 bucks a month is not that bad, especially if you have a job and you're working. And trust me, it's worth it. 
for this car. This car is amazing and I would not have it any other way. I highly recommend it for anyone out there who's looking for maybe their first. Watch my video on why this shouldn't be your first car or your second car. All right, that's gonna be it for me today. Hopefully you learned something from this and I hope that I was able to help you make a decision on if you wanna get a Nissan 350Z or not. Put it in the comments down below if you have any other tips for anyone out there who's looking to own this car. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and come back next week for another 350Z or a Jeep video. And I'll see you in the next one.